What's up gamers? Today we're doing a little bit of testing. I just stumbled across something. So when you boot up the game, this is the first track, right? And so being the first track, it's going to give you little tutorials. You see those item pods there? Get them. At least if you want weapons to take care of your opponents. So that's the first one, and it appears at that spot on the track. Take note of this, by the way, because they're going to pop up in weird places later. Now might be a good time to try some it's a kick. So that's the second one. So first one's item pods, second one's drifting. And... Last one's here. So that's boost. But... What happens if we reverse? So that's what we're going to do. So remember, you can trigger the boost one at the end of lap one. You can also trigger it back here. Yeah, that's exactly where we expect to see that one. And I'm just going to reverse around the track and I have to keep braking because every time it pops up that wrong way message if I don't brake it spins me around like so. So here we go and over here we should get the message about drifting yep Cool. That's where we expect to see that one. It's interesting to see that these things pop up regardless of what lap you're on. It's just apparently the segment, the lap, uh, the track segment. And here's the one about item pods. Very, very cool. Now, you may have noticed that I picked up two item pods going around the track backwards. And if you're a really astute viewer, you should know that should have been impossible. So, here's me going forwards, right? It's going to give me the tutorial message about the item pods. But what they don't teach you about item pods is that once you've picked one up from this segment of track, it won't let you pick up any more from the segment of track. It's giving me a jump start because I'm in last place. It's interesting, I didn't know that actually, that you can complete the race objective, although I haven't actually upgraded my little green power up in the corner. You see it's, it's a level one power up currently. Here's the message about drifting. And if I grab another power up, seat level 2. And if I was to try and grab another one of these, it won't let me. Not only because I'm bad at the game. Hold it, let me see if I can grab another one of these. Ooh. Yep. So I grabbed it that time, it didn't update my power up. I'm just going to prove that if you go backwards around the track, you can't grab a power up from anywhere behind the most recent segment of track. So because I picked up a power up successfully from further ahead, if I backtrack, it won't let me grab that one. Because the game knows that I've picked up something from further ahead. Cool. Actually, I'm going to test something real quick. So... I haven't been up here yet. So my, my question... Oh, God damn it! I didn't mean to grab that. Yeah. Here's me proving again. I can't pick up any of these power-ups because I've already been here. So, quick question. Hush. 
Oh yeah, that's another thing. Sometimes the audio for uh, completing race objectives or hitting one of those tutorial um, triggers, the audio won't play if you're losing by quite a lot because this game has like dynamic music. The music and the audio is meant to die down and be real chill if you're right at the back of the track like it is right now. The, the music's really muted and not exciting. Okay, so here's the question I literally just thought of. So I haven't grabbed, um, on this lap, I haven't grabbed any of those power-ups. So I want to know if I can come back for them. I don't think I can. Okay, so if I grab one of these, and then I drive back, I don't think it's going to let me pick up the thing. Here we go. And it's not going to give me a level 2. Just as I suspected. Okay, next question. Um... I'm not going to grab the... No, I already have. I already have grabbed that one. So my next question is... Um, it won't let you backtrack and pick up a power-up. Is that because I grabbed one further ahead? Or simply because I was further ahead? So... I haven't picked up these ones yet. So if I go really quite far ahead... And then backtrack but without picking up any more power-ups. Will it let me have those ones? Okay, so... I've come this far forward, but I haven't picked up power-ups from way back. So if I backtrack now, I'm pretty sure it will let me pick up the, the item pods on the previous lap, because the power-ups furthest along the track that I last picked up were the ones one set back. So I've gone really far ahead, I haven't yet picked up these ones and it should let me. Exactly. Cool. So that in mind. We've established that you can't pick up power-ups from the same segment of track or behind where you've already picked them up. Ah, but you see there's a catch. Hush. So I have not yet crossed the finish line, or the start line even. This is sort of like a negative lap, and you can do some janky stuff. Yeah, look at that. So when you're on one of these negative laps, um, you can pick up multiple of these things from one segment of track. So long as you leave a little bit of time between picking up one and the next. Because if I just go bam, 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 I drove through all four of them and only got one power up. And because I'm on a negative lap, it should let me pick up stuff from even further back. Like I said before, if you try and backtrack, it won't let you pick up power-ups from behind the segment of track where you last picked up a power-up. But that doesn't apply on negative laps. There we go. I wonder actually, what happens if we use a warp from the negative lap? I believe I am still on a negative lap, but we'll find out. 
So, when I cross the start line, um, I should still be on my first lap, because I haven't completed a lap yet. Exactly. Um, and you'll see on the left side of the screen, there's the, you know, picture of Tag's head showing you where the finish line is. And it's moving around. If I go into a negative lap, it stops moving. You'll also notice that there's a white line there currently for the finish line. Um, it should always be a white line, except for when you're on your final lap. It'll show up as, I believe, a checkered line. Yeah, and also if you're if you haven't ever crossed the start line, it won't appear. So there it appears once I cross that line. Cool. Negative laps are pretty cool. Now, another quick question. Oh, actually, no, I'll just show you something interesting first. So, I did mention that those tutorial messages show up based on what segment of track you're in. Now, if you reach that segment of track illegally, it shouldn't play. So, if I go over here... Oh! I'm wrong! That was an illegal shortcut, as it says, and it still let me have that uh, tutorial message pop up. Also, earlier I managed to trigger the the tutorial message about picking up power-ups from this bridge, even though you're meant to be down there to see that message. So I'm not quite sure how I did that. Let's see if I can do it again, though. Hmm. How did I... how did I trigger it? I think it literally triggered after I jumped off the side of this bridge, because I was trying to trigger that drift message. Hmm. Come through, modern nation. You're making a fool of me. I want, yeah, I'm gonna try and detonate myself because when I jump off the side of the bridge, right, I get that illegal shortcut message, and that will slow me down. You know, it'll it'll stop me if I try to drive a certain distance, or um, I have that message on screen for a certain amount of time. It's gonna respawn me on the track. But you can delay that message by hitting. Uh, select on your controller which blows yourself up because the game won't reset you on the track until after the animation has played up. Didn't quite make it. Okay, I don't know how I managed to get that message before. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I just got the drift message on the bridge. Let's see if I can do that. Uh yeah, because I think I jumped and tried to get the drift message, and when I was respawned on the bridge, I got a tutorial message. And I thought it was the parrot message, but maybe I'm just simply mistaken. And I triggered... I must have triggered the drift tutorial message. But then, when I respawned... Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if it respawned me on the bridge and then it brought up the message about the drifting tutorial. Let's see if I can do that. And then I've got one more quite interesting thing to show about the negative laps. And one other thing I'd like to try for the first time. Hmm. 
Interesting. Well, I'm on a negative lap. I'll show you an interesting thing about the laps. Basically, when you're on a negative lap, okay. let's consider. Well, let's con. I don't know if you'd consider this a negative lap, because if I was to cross, you know, if you, if I was to go restart race and then begin a new race, as soon as I cross the start line, I'm on lap one, and I haven't crossed the start line, so I guess this makes this lap zero. Let's call this lap zero. Um, and when you're on lap zero, you can still complete objectives. You can still take out opponents. You can collect tokens. Interestingly, you can pick up power-ups in a way that you're not meant to be able to. But, as far as I'm aware, there's not really well, if we consider this to be lap zero, there's not usually a lap one. You might have just seen on the left-hand side of the screen the display of Tag's head just snapped into a different spot. So if I now go back across the line, this should be considered lap negative one, right? Because I was on lap zero, I'm now on lap negative one. And if I continue to be on lap negative one, and I go around the course once more, well then, in theory, that should put me on lap negative two. The game doesn't seem to work like that. It doesn't seem to count beyond zero. It doesn't seem to be able to go any lower. So here I am, going backwards around the track. Watch the display on the left. Tag's head is sitting there. You can see by the segments of the track um, scrolling up the screen that I'm going in reverse. There's the finish line. It's about to jump. Is it? Is it? Well, no, it didn't. Okay. Well, now, it's, now it seems to be stuck. This is interesting. <laughs> I don't, I, okay, I don't have an explanation for this. It's not scrolling. Let's see if I keep going back. Is this lap negative two? Is that what we decided? Yes, I think so. I'm on lap negative two. And the screen has stopped scrolling. Yeah, what I was going to do is once I reached lap negative two, I was just going to do a lap forward and show you that if you do a... Oh, okay, now it's scrolling again. I guess it starts scrolling once you're halfway around the track again. We've we'll fixed the display on the left-hand side of the screen. But here we are, going around the track like normal. This time I'll try to stay on the pavement because that was a difference between my, f uh, my lap zero and my lap negative one. Is it gonna? Is the okay? No, so that was the same as before. I believe now, if I just do a lap going forward, even though I went all the way back to lap negative three, so this should be my lap negative two because I crossed back across the start line. You'll see that once I've completed this lap, I should be on lap two, even though this should put me onto lap negative one. Look at that, lap two. Hmm. I guess there's new things I could try here. What happens if I go to lap three, then double back several times? Wow, what an interesting video this is. I'm getting all the tokens. Okay, we're going to go to lap three. And then we're going to double back. And after that, the, the other thing I want to check is... If you're on a negative lap, what happens if you try to do a little shortcut? Because there's, the, there's the, the beta shortcut on this track. Okay, we're in lap number three now. Let's... But, uh, yeah. 
and you see because I'm on lap number three we now have the checkered flag showing up on the left hand side of the screen and now it's gone so this is me back on lap number two it's still displaying number three and the sidebar has stopped scrolling so I wonder if I do a lap in reverse what will happen? okay it's scrolling again it seems to start scrolling again once you hit that point in the track you might be wondering if I want to be testing what happens if you reverse back around the track why don't I just make myself my own track that's a lot shorter than this one uh, that's a good question because you know like the way I'm testing my theories right now involves me driving around quite a long course and I could just make a shorter course but what I've found is that certain glitches, quite a few of the glitches that I've discovered only work in Korea and so I wouldn't want to test this in like split screen or single player or in you know uh, create mode because then I'd have to test it again in Korea because my goal is finding glitches in the career mode and a lot of those glitches from those other modes you know they don't work for instance um, the kind of shortcuts that we do on this track the one um, you know the I'll demonstrate in a second and you've probably also seen it if you've seen my other videos um, this section of track with all of these white markers this is what I call the special region of track because you can initiate shortcuts from this section of track if you start in this segment of track and you can reach another segment of track like the area below the bridge or just beyond then the game won't say illegal shortcut and it will allow you to keep driving from the segment of track you've reached so if you were to start in this segment of track go on the other side of this fence on the green grass and you see there's a little bit of uh, there's a gap between that beige building and the green grass you can drive under there and then you can reach a different segment of track and the game will not say illegal shortcut it will allow you to start driving a lap from that segment of track and the lap will count when you complete it and that's what I call a beta shortcut anyway so we've uh, been driving around backwards for some time now I'm kind of lost I think I think I'm on lap one what I would consider to be lap one so if I keep driving back around and cross the start line again that should put me on lap zero but every single time I've been around the segment of the track that I'm on now and I approach the finish line or the start line on the display on the left hand side of the screen there's the checkered flag which should only display when you're on your final lap so what happens I, I believe I'm currently on lap zero now I'm on lap one but the checkered flag is there so I believe if I finish the race I believe if I finish the race then that would mean that the game considers me to be on lap three despite the fact that I did three laps in reverse so let's find out yes look you can see on the left hand side of the screen there is all of the guys at the end of the track so that's some interesting information about how this game considers laps to work also I'll just show you something the so I'm not going to cross the finish line I'm going to approach the finish line right now and the game is going to tell me that the lap is complete because when you are outside of the fence on any given track the the finish line 
is actually slightly closer towards you. So I'm going to drive forward slowly. I'm not even going to reach the finish line, and this lap is going to count. Look at that. There's the finish line. So that's interesting. Um, when you've completed lap three, no matter how many laps back you go, the game considers you to still be on that lap. So I did three laps backwards and it still kept me on lap three. What I'd like to try now is what happens when you initiate a shortcut from lap zero. Cool. So. Hush. Hush. Push. So I'm back here. If I go forward, watching the, the display on the left hand side of the screen, it should show me that I cross the... because we, we established that the, the, the start line extends out here. Yep, there it is. So even though I haven't actually crossed the start line, because the trigger for the start line extends beyond the boundaries of the track, this is considered... Um, I guess this is considered to be in front of, or at least on the, on the finish line. So I guess I'm now on lap one, and if I boost under here, see if I get this. <laughs> yep. And now it will allow me to drive from here. That was a beta shortcut. Beta shortcuts only work on the what I've been calling the release version. It's what some people have been calling version 1.0. I don't think that's accurate. I was just looking at the... the um, what's this one called? Like the, the home menu. Um, and if I... Okay, well I can't actually look at these at the moment, but if I was looking at the data... Yeah, here we go. Options, information. No, okay. Version, nothing. This is interesting to me. Um, that's not what it looked like before. That's very interesting. Okay, well I was in that menu earlier, and it was saying version... It was saying version 1.10, and when I booted up the game, it said that the most recent version of the game has been found, um, and that version of the game was 1.11. So, if you're playing on the most recent update, you can't do the shortcut that I just did. I'm going to cross this line, it's going to count a lap. There we go. That's what I expected. Um, and to demonstrate that again, just because I can. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to attempt that shortcut again. Here we are. Oop. I timed out there. You see like when I'm driving backwards it says wrong way. Sometimes it'll say off track if I am indeed off the track like I was just then. So when you're taking shortcuts like this you're, you're on a timer. You have to complete the shortcut before the, the timer that starts when you are off track or going the wrong way completes. Because that timer, when expired, respawns you on the track. Easy. That track is a lot easier when you have that power up. Yeah. Cool. And now if I complete this lap... And I can complete it from out here, it'll be lap 3. There it is, this lap 3. Um, so what did I want to try? That's right. So... That time... 
I sort of I went out of bounds, i.e. on the grass on the other side of that fence, and I went too far forward, which meant the game considered me to have crossed the start line, you know, moving from lap zero into lap one. So what I did, I did the shortcut, I did the beta shortcut, starting in lap one, completed it on lap one, and drove the rest of the track, and the game put me on lap two. So, I don't want to drive too far forward, because if I do, it'll put me on the next lap. So can I do a beta shortcut from here? Can I do a beta shortcut from lap zero? Oh, that's not going to work. That's going to respawn me. Oh, it respawned me behind the finish line. That's nice. Often, when you fail that trick, it respawns you on the finish line. And I was just saying, that's not what I wanted. Because I don't want to be on lap one. I want to stay on lap zero. Okay, here we are. Lap zero. We're not going to drive too far forward because we want to stay on lap zero. Here we are. Yep. That looks like it worked because I... It won't trigger that mess. Oh, a legal shortcut! Interesting. I was about to say it wouldn't... Oh no. I was about to say it wouldn't trigger that message if we didn't reach that segment of track. And I think we did reach that segment of track, but we also worked out earlier that you can trigger you can trigger that message even if it wasn't a legal shortcut that you took to get to that segment of track. You know when I was on the bridge earlier and I jumped off the bridge to reach the segment of track, which is the segment of track that gives you that drift message. Anyway, let's try that again. Ah! Okay. Oops. Okay, not too far forward. Ah, shoot, I, that was too far forward. Well, beforehand it said that I had an illegal shortcut. I'm wondering if it's an illegal shortcut if you do it from lap zero. So yeah, so that's, that's considered legal, because I was on lap one, but if I'm on lap zero, that's considered illegal. I believe that's what I've discovered. No shortcuts from lap zero. Hush. Hush. Ooh, okay, not too far forward. Staying on lap zero. And if I can get through here, I should still say illegal. Ah, oh, what the frick? So we're still testing whether you can do this shortcut from lap zero. Not too far back. Here we go. Now might be a good time to try some drift. Illegal shortcut, interesting. No shortcuts from this far back. That's what we've discovered. So if I do... Hmm... Okay, so... What we've discovered is, you can tell if you're on lap zero... By... This. Okay, there's, there's, two way, there's two things that indicate you're on lap zero. One of them is this... 
that you can just pick up as many of these in a row as you like. And the other indication that you're on lap zero is that that shortcut will not work. So, if I keep going back the way I have, I'm going to keep going back. Okay, the, do you see that on the left side of the screen? The display jumped. The display of where the f start line is changed. What happens if they go forward now? This is something I haven't tried. See, I'm going forward and the display is not updating. I believe this means I'm on lap zero. Will it start updating? This is the point where it changes usually, the section of track. Nope, okay, I've driven through that section of track and the display is still frozen. So what happens when I cross the line up here? Hmm? Interesting. Still on lap one. Okay, but now that I am on lap one, the shortcut will work. Just to test the hypothesis. Cool. So what we've established today is there is a lap zero, but there is no lap negative one, because when you are on a lap and you go backwards several laps it's not like laps are subtracted off your total where am I? Oh, there I am cool so because the white line is displaying on the segment next to me that's an indication that I'm on lap one I think? Well it was there before and it didn't count me for lap 2 when I drove a lap normally. Who knows? I don't know how this works. But that should work. Yeah, cool. So I'm on lap 1. And if I drive this normally... Then we will find... That it will put me on lap 2. Oh yeah, notice how it's not giving me dialogue f when I complete those objectives? It's because I'm so far behind. Lap 2. Cool. And I have the, oh, the white bar is gone. Does it reappear if I cross the line? It does. But <laughs> I don't understand this. Okay, it's there. If I cross the line, the display freezes, and the line is still there, but if I continue to drive backwards, then it disappears. Just to... yeah, I jump in here. What life am I on right now? Because the... <laughs> The thing's not there. On the display on the left hand side of the screen, there is no white line indicating where the finish line is. And that, before, I took to mean that I was on lap zero, but that can't be the case because I'm, well, it says I'm on lap two in the corner. Ah. We'll find out in a second. Oh, by the way, when you... I'll just show you this now. If I hit select, 
see the like the the display disappears, the user interface or whatever. If I hit select, I can't see what segment of the track I'm on. But if I hold down L1 and then push that button, the display is still there. So what I'll do um, is I'll perform this shortcut from I don't want to go any further forward because I don't want that line to appear because I'm testing this and I will hit the select button while I am still holding down L1 and illegal shortcut interesting so it's an illegal shortcut so long as the white bar is not displaying on the left hand side of the screen yeah see if I just cross the line now it's there and now it's gone but I can make it reappear from out of bounds yeah, okay here we go we're out of bounds and it's back and it stays with me because I'm out of bounds oops well that didn't work because I bumped into the corner of the building I meant to be driving under just sideswipe some people so I can get some boost. There we go. That'll do. Okay. So, we drive forward. The white line only appears when I go this far forward this time, which is different. Before the white line was showing up way earlier. Here we go, we're boosting. And the, yep, it lets you cross because the white line was present. Interesting. What a new discovery. I don't know what any of that means. And if I finish this lap, this will be lap, it'll put me on lap three. Actually, what happens if I go over here? I'm out of bounds. I'm stuck. This is awesome. The white line is there, so it will allow me to do the thing. The white line is there, so it will... Yep, counted a lap from... Oh wait, now the... The white line's gone. The white line is gone because I crossed the you know, I hit the trigger for a lap from out of bounds. Oops. And now it's the finish line. Now the finish line is gone. Okay. So because the line is gone, this shouldn't work, given my understanding of the game. Oops. See how it's like now respawning me at the finish line? It wasn't doing that before. So the white line is not there on the left hand side of the screen. If what I said was correct, this lap will not count. Ah, keep bumping the thing. Ah. Uh. I need more drift. Well, it counted. 
I do not understand what's happening with the sidebar on the left. That is the conclusion of this video. Thanks everyone for watching. I am confused and I don't understand how the game works. Illegal shortcut. Actually, there's something to test. So, we know that if I drive really far forward here, the lap will count because the trigger for a lap counting extends quite far back here. What happens if I just don't cross the line and go for another shortcut? Does that say illegal shortcut? Hmm. Oops. Okay, so it's telling me, the sidebar's telling me if I have to cross the line now. Everyone else has already crossed the line, so the, the race will end if I cross the finish line. So if I just park myself here, I'll go for another one of these. Ah. See, it's not, it's not respawning me on the finish line anymore. Hmm. Okay, not too far forward because we don't want to trigger the lap from out here. Ah! Get some side swipes. Where is it? Oh, they're really far away. Here come some people now. Oops. That was a waste of my time. Okay, not too far forward. Don't want to trigger the lap. Want to go for a shortcut. Whoops. This has taken a while. I was surprised by how easily I was getting the trick before I guess my luck's run out now. So I didn't remember this shortcut being that easy slash consistent. The legal shortcut, there we go. Why though? So if I just like, I can just like jump over right now and trigger into the lap. And again, no dialogue because I was really far behind everyone. Cool! That was 49 minutes, oh my god.